Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing and explaining what I do to start training a new horse at Liberty. I always begin my training sessions with some whip desensitization. I do this to ensure that throughout the rest of the session the horse understands that the whip is not there to hurt him, but is just there as a cue. I think it is also a great way to discover a new horse. It allows you to see kind of what their personality is like and if there are any underlying issues. Here I'm working with my three-year-old miniature horse Nemo. He has had no previous experience doing any of this. As you can see, he's a little bit nervous with the whip by his side, so I'm just going to keep moving it around until he understands that it's not going to hurt him. For horses that are a bit more sensitive, I would start by just moving the whip back and forth in front of them and gradually getting closer. Make sure that you are observing your horse's behavior and watch for warning signs. If you see that things are getting a little out of hand, don't be afraid to take it back to square one. Next game or exercise that I use to start my liberty training is teaching the horse to follow and stay with me. To me, this is one of the most important things to teach your horse because in the end, if you unclip the halter and the horse does not want to stay with you, you could have taught them all the tricks in the world and it would mean absolutely nothing. This game is going to focus on yielding the haunches using my body language. The concept that I want him to understand is that his head has to stay with me, meaning every time I move to one side or the other, he should yield his haunches away from me, resulting in him following me. To ask him to yield his haunches, I'm going to step towards them and then turn my body as if I was trying to push him away just by looking at him. To make sure that he really understands the concept, I'm going to start doing uh, zigzag patterns and quick changes of directions. I usually try to do this at the beginning of every training session just as a little bit of a refresher and to get them into that playing spirit. But you can see that he's really starting to figure it out and he's actually starting to have some fun with it. He's getting kind of into chasing me. All this while in general staying pretty respectful. I mean especially since this was only the first day that I'd worked with him and he's uh, only three years old and was gelded two months ago so he's still got a little bit of aggression issues. The next thing is going to be teaching them to come to you from a distance. This is totally up to you if you want to do this on the first day. I saw that Nemo was doing really good with all the other stuff I'd asked him to do so I thought I would give this game a try. So in this next game uh, we are going to focus on using the yielding of the haunches to get the horse to face you and then invite them to come towards us. So to do this I'm just going to ask him to yield his haunches away from me just like I did when I wanted him to follow me. Once he's facing me I'm going to start adding my come here cue which is going to be me taking a couple steps backwards and then adding a vocal cue on there as well. For a vocal cues, you can use whatever you want. I just use a whistling sound because I find it to be very different from all my other cues. So here I unclipped his lead rope for one of the first times and was kind of just testing out to see if he would come when I called. So most of the time, the first time you unclip them, it'll usually look something like this. But he actually did really well there. He was kind of digging around in the sand looking for something to do. He didn't really know what to do with himself with being free so when I called him he didn't really pay attention so I started making a lot of noise with my whip and jumping up and down and calling him and making myself really excited so that he would kind of feed off that energy. So the first few weeks and maybe months of you trying to teach them to do this kind of stuff it's gonna be a lot of you unclipping the lead rope and then asking them to come to you and them obviously not coming because they don't know what you want. What you're gonna see me doing here is I called him to me and he was not paying attention. I mean he didn't do anything wrong but he was just not paying attention. He didn't know what I wanted so I changed up the game and I put some energy back into it and then I asked him to come back to me when he was focused and alert and that time he did come back to me. So that's the kind of energy that I want when I'm gonna be playing with him. So anytime that I see that he starts to get kind of looking down on the ground or anything. Then I'll change up the game and chase him around the arena a little bit to kind of try and spark that playing energy and just constantly feed off of that because in the end that's what you want your horse to do. You want to ask them to come to you and you want them to come running and then you go running and they run after you. That's the kind of relationship you want to build. 
And that's just going to come with um, taking them out every single day and playing with them, even if it's just for 20 minutes or maybe more, depending on the day or your horse or what you feel like what is good for you guys. But dedicating your time every day to them is going to pay off in the end.